Samuel Jordan Fitness here. Welcome today to your 15 minute strength and conditioning kettlebell workout. We're doing this workout today in a hit style and each round is going to be a strength based kettlebell exercise followed by a body weight cardio exercise. If you haven't warmed up yet, then click the link in the top right hand corner. We're going to kick this workout off with alternating halos. Let's get going in a few seconds. So for reference, I'm using a 16 kilogram kettlebell here, but make sure to use whatever weight you feel comfortable with today. With these halos, hold the kettlebell upside down by its horns. You're going to bring it up and around the head, starting at one hip and then finishing the rep at the other hip. Be sure to keep your core engaged and a neutral spine. So keep going with these halos. In just over 10 seconds, we're going to put the kettlebell down and go straight into jumping jacks. Forty seconds of jumping jacks, let's go! Great work, keep up the intensity. We've got just over five seconds and then we'll take a rest together. Take a 40 second rest. Next up, we're going to start off with strict presses on the right arm. So we're going to have the kettlebell in a clean position on our right shoulder. Make sure to keep your palm towards the middle of your chest. This is going to stop the kettlebell from pulling your hand away from your shoulder and doing potential harm to your shoulder. From this clean position, we're going to push the kettlebell up, not using any momentum from the legs, and that's why it's a strict press, so it's going to really target the shoulders here. Grab your kettlebell, we're gonna get going in about five seconds. Keep going, in about 15 seconds, we're gonna put the kettlebell down and go straight into high knees. So set the kettlebell down, we got 40 seconds of high knees. Let's keep the intensity up, let's go. Great work, keep going and in about five seconds, we'll take a rest. So take a 40 second rest. Now we've got strict presses on the left arm. So same as before, when you've got that kettlebell in the clean position, make sure to have your hand towards the middle of your chest. Also make sure to keep your core engaged, soft knees and a neutral spine. We're gonna get going in about 20 seconds.
Great job. Keep going. When you hear the beep in about 10 seconds, we're going to set the kettlebell down and go straight into cross jacks. Forty seconds of cross jacks, let's do this. Great work, your heart rate should be right up now. We've got a few more seconds and then we'll take a rest. Take a 40 second rest. Next up, we're going to do goblet curls. So we're holding the kettlebell by its horns. We're going to keep the knees soft, engage your core, keep a neutral spine, and then we're going to flex at the elbows to bring the kettlebell up. Squeeze your biceps at the top of the rep and then slowly lower back down. You've got about 15 seconds more rest. Grab a drink of water if you need and let's do those goblet curls next. Great job, keep going. Next up, after you hear the beep, let's set the kettlebell down and do skaters. We got 40 seconds of skaters, let's go. Great work, keep going. In just over five seconds, we're gonna take a rest. Okay, take a rest. Next up, we're going to do overhead tricep extensions. So we're going to hold the kettlebell upside down by its horns. Bring the kettlebell up above your head very carefully with soft knees and an engaged core. We're going to flex at the elbows and lower the kettlebell down behind our head. And then we're going to drive it back up towards the sky by extending at the elbows. We've got about 10 more seconds of rest and then we'll get straight into these tricep extensions. Great work, keep going. After you hear the beep, set the kettlebell down and we're going to do alternate back lunges. Forty seconds of alternating back lunges, let's go. Awesome job, keep going. In about five seconds, we'll take a rest. Take a rest. Next up, we've got alternating bent over rows. 
So keep a wide stance with your feet just outside shoulder width apart. Bend at the knees, hinge at the hips. Keep a neutral spine and your core engaged as you pick up the kettlebell with one hand. Row it up by bringing the elbow up and out away from the body. After setting the kettlebell back down with control, we're going to do the same on the other side. Try to focus on retracting the scapula here. We can do that by imagining we're pinching our shoulder blades together. Great work, keep going and next up when you hear the beep, we're gonna set the kettlebell down and go straight into squat toe taps. Forty seconds of alternating squat toe taps, let's go. Awesome work, keep going and in a few seconds we'll take a rest. Take a rest, we've got two more exercises and then we're finished with this workout. The first exercise here is going to be thrusters with the kettlebell. So you can either hold the kettlebell by its horns or upside down and holding the bell. We're going to be holding it just in front of our chest. We'll be doing a low squat and then driving through the heels. We're going to stand up tall and press the kettlebell above the head. Keep going, when you hear the beat, we're gonna be onto the final exercise of this workout, burpees. So set the kettlebell down, we've got 40 seconds of burpees, let's do this. Keep going, I know it's tough. We've got 10 more seconds and then we're done. You got this. And that is it for this workout. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you did, then please like the video, subscribe to my channel and click the notification button. You can click the link now for a short cool down and stretch routine. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you on the next workout.